Hello and good morning. Yes, you are back with the crew. We are all the crew. Thanks for being here again. Today you're as crazy as I am, and I'm going to tell you why you're crazy. You've lost your, you've completely lost your mind. See, you could have spent your money on so many other things, but what you decided to do is buy cryptos. Like, are what? All oh, that, oh, Pokemon, that Beanie Baby stuff. Are you kidding me? Really, is that what you did with your hard-earned money? Huh. You know, you could have bought anything else, right? Anything else in the, well, under the sun. Isn't it funny how you hear those people tell you that? And it's usually, you know when you hear those people t say that the most? They've, you're in Vegas, right? Those of you going to Vegas, I can't wait to meet y'all. It's going to be so much fun. They're in Vegas and they got a cigarette in one hand and they're pulling a slot machine lever in the other one telling you how crazy they are, how crazy you are for buying cryptocurrencies. Yeah, that's who those people are. We all know who they are, right? So I'm just going to talk some numbers here real quick. I just read an article that was mind-blowing to me. But America, just Americans, spent nearly $120 billion last year on lotto. Lotto. That's not slots. That's not gambling. That's, that's just lotto. You know, one in, I don't know, 14 billion odds or whatever it is. I don't even know what the odds are. I don't play it. When each one of those dollars, roughly, they could have had an XRP. In fact, they could have almost had two XRP for every scratch off they bought. Just think about that for a minute. And you're the idiot. You're the crazy guy. It's, it, it, it's so hard for me to wrap my head around that whole concept of, well, you're, you're just gamblers. You're, you're not even a speculator. You're a gambler. How am I the gambler? When I know what I bought, I've done some research, the code pencils out, the people behind the project, not that, over 900 employees, nearly 1,000 employees now, many different nations. We're looking at 50 different nations, signed on, signed out of line, hey, we want to work with this product. Those of you on XRP, you're looking at over 200 nations, sorry, 200 banks involved here. Already done, already sealed, already looking forward to it, all lined up. And thousands of banks beyond that, branches, they're all lined up at that whole ISO. Everything is fundamental when you're talking about XRP. So that gets me into even crypto people think we're crazy. Like, oh, you're an X. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. And you can just see it in their eyes that they're thinking about five other coins you should own instead of XRP. They're like looking at you like, oh man, sorry about that. That's terrible. What are you guys doing over there? You know, that's, you don't go anywhere. Nothing's happening for you guys. You know how dumb it is that you bought that coin? You really should have bought, you know, I don't know, a dog with a hat on it or something like, you look how much more money you would have made. Yeah, with absolutely no fundamentals underneath it. No nations, no banks, no institutions, no nothing. Back no stable coin linked to it coming your way. And you're the crazy one, right? You're, you're flat out crazy because you could have went out and ran out and bought lotto tickets. Look, what an idiot you are. You bought XRP? <laughs> I want to talk today evaluations. I watched an old, old video from uh, an interview with a good friend of the communities, the Army. Uh, Jimmy Valley was uh, being interviewed by uh, Lewis Jackson. It's a brilliant video, and I, I, I really... 
I've watched it two or three times now. When I watched it the other day, there was two things that I really got from it. And the big thing was what an incredible heart and human being Jimmy is. And I know that he's gotten a lot of bad press, but if you know the man, you would think differently. And it doesn't matter what one individual thinks of another, or one individual thinks about the coin, or another coin, or somebody else's math in this world. It matters what you believe, and what you own, and the math that you've done in your soul. Okay? That's all that matters. But the two things I got from that video, watching it again, was, number one, the conviction behind these people. People that own XRP have conviction. People that own XRP are not just lotto players. There are people who have done the research, have listened to the shows daily, they've done their homework, they know the principles behind this, they know the institution, they know what they own. And they can't, you can't share in a conversation with another crypto person in 60 seconds or less, because people won't listen to anybody talk for any longer than that these days, it seems, unless you're talking about something they want to hear about. You can't get the years or months, if you're new, of information that is so dense in the XRP army, that is so constant, and it's not mainstream news. It's not. It's not mainstream news even in, in uh, crypto. It's that you have to seek it out, search it, find it. And since you have, and since you've linked to shows like this one and many others, better shows than this one, that have explained the day-to-day -day fundamental news events that created the knowledge in which you have of the purchases you've made. It's really hard for me to, when I meet so many new people, and I just meet a lot of people these days, and I talk to a lot of new people in the space, and it's really hard for me to explain to them XRP. It's complicated. It's not simple. It's not, you know, with hat coin. It's 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 difficult because it's so complex and deep, but it yet so fundamental to, to the future of all banking. It's fun when you and I get to share this knowledge together, and we do. And it's frustrating dealing with other people who don't have the basis and every coin has this. Trust me, there's people that don't understand Bitcoin. There's people that don't understand Ethereum. There's people that don't understand XRP and Cardano. I get that. But there's something very unique about the XRP people that people don't get it. People don't, look, look, people might even own XRP, okay? Raul Paul comes to mind, who doesn't even get XRP. He doesn't, he hasn't done the homework. There's a lot of people in XRP that haven't done the homework on Bitcoin either, but it seems an in-proportionate amount of people who might even own, like I just said about Rel, might even own a ton of XRP, and they don't follow the fundamentals of it. And it's so unique to me, and it's so interesting because it's gone through this court case. And this court case was a big victory. Let's remember, they can make that whole thing go away by writing a check. I know in America we still write checks. I know it's like, is that the stupidest thing on the planet? But Ripple could write the check tomorrow. And it financially wouldn't even damage them. I did a video two years ago talking about if they pay the billion dollar fine, who cares? So now it's two billion. They'll probably negotiate it down to a billion or less, and they'll write the check and go on their way. And those of you right now with getting your cackle all up, trying to think, well, we should never submit to that, and we, we'd never admit our guilt or any of those things, it's, it's not about that. It's about moving the ball down the road.
It's about opening all those doors, all those NDAs that they've been signing over these years, and all those people that are on the edge of understanding the technology, knowing how it works with their corporations, their banking systems, and their networks, yet there's that little boogeyman in the room that is this suit, and they need it to go away before they say, we'll put our name on that, we're willing to admit that we own that, we like that. It's big. And that day is very, very soon. Very soon. And when that day comes, I'm not going to make any more predictions because I predicted when we had a positive result with Ms. Torres that we would see new all-time highs. Yeah, I was uh, miserably wrong on that one. I, uh, yeah. Well, you know, my predictions aren't great, but you know, I'm not really a predictor guy. I'm a fundamentals guy. I'm a guy that sees value. I seek value. I seek value in stocks, in ideas, in concepts my whole life long. My whole life long. My idea of sitting down with a billionaire is asking him how and when did you know what you owned was going to become reality. And what we know that now today as the network effect. We know that, how do we know that? We know that because of Facebook. That network, that trajectory of that S-curve of, of all of them, Apple, right? Amazon, all of these, by the way, little tidbit, what do we know about all those companies, those big companies? They were all sued by the SEC. Now, isn't that familiar, huh? It's almost like a stamp and a seal of approval for us. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing to me. And it's, it's almost like they wanted to get in on it. You know, like I talk about with the Reggie Middleton, they own, I don't know, 90 some odd million of, of his uh, Veritasium coins. It's like they want to get their foot in the door so that the system can control Facebook and Amazon from that day forward. They may or may not have done that. That's up to you to make your own decisions on those. Uh, clearly, they have more influence than they did prior to the lawsuit, so... Hmm. So maybe they shouldn't write the check. I don't know. It's really up to you, and you could put that down below and tell me, should they write the check, make it all go away, let's move on with our lives, or should we just play this game for another six months? Who knows, right? Could be two years. Do we really need the boogeyman in the room, or should we just make it all go away? On a little brighter note, I'd like to say that there are so many people who reach out to this channel and uh, your emails are amazing and thank you very much. And all of you who are going to be in Vegas, please meet up with me. Please find a way to come up and introduce yourself and tell me who you are and where you come from and what your life is because I really care. And I'm not just one other guy on the YouTube. I'm a guy that's in this with you. You and I are going to do well together. That's my plan for both of us. So hopefully that makes sense that you would like to, well, let's, let, me, let me set the foundation of a communication with this person so that when we're both doing well, we can plan trips together. <laughs> we can go hang out and do Vegas more often maybe. Instead of once a year, we could do hangouts or do something fun. That's really what I'd like to see. I love people and I love the interaction with those of you who have seen or met me in person and my son in person. The, you, the first thing that comes to you is like, well, there's just normal guys. Oh, well, I'm just a normal guy. That's who we are. That's who we all are. That's who Brad Garlinghouse is. Just a normal guy. Okay. So let's just remember that about everybody. And we're all just sharing information. We're all on the same team. We got many different teams. I have many different coins, guys. I don't just own, but I will tell you my big bag. It's a big bag. I don't have a giant bag because I'm not a really wealthy man. But I do have me some XRP. That is not financial advice. And you may or may not see it differently. And that's okay. 
keep watching the channel because it's not the only coin I talk about. But I do talk about the big picture of where we're going in this space. And where we're going is we've already gotten there. We've already gotten to where the rest of the world is getting to. Have you noticed all of a sudden there's people in the media and there's people in Wall Street and everybody and they're, they're coming to the same conclusions that you and I have been on for, I think I'm coming up on eight years, something like that, that I've been in this space. And they're all coming to the same conclusions you and I had years ago, years and years ago. And I have to say this, I got this uh, comment from this person, it's so cool. I inspired somebody two years ago to start buying XRP and they loaded up their bag and they started buying it at, I don't know, 28 cents or something like that. It was such a cool thing to see and they're already in such profit. Tip of the iceberg, my friend. Where you were headed, you, you've been DCA your way in these last two years. Whew. You're sitting pretty. If you're only just buying a coin right now, no problem. You're good to go. Like I say, you can almost get two of them for a buck, okay? Much better invest. This is financial advice. It's a better investment than a lotto ticket, okay? That's my opinion. That's not even financial advice, that's my opinion. That's been my lifelong knowledge of life. And that, mainly that's what I try and share with you guys. All right, just a short little fun video, guys. I want to, uh, I want to see you guys this weekend. For uh, my son and I do a live stream on Sundays. It's really fun. We've got hundreds of people in there now, and it's a lot of fun. We just talk about you, whatever you guys want to talk about, and it's good fun. And uh, it's about two hours long at times, so we really enjoy the uh, interaction with everybody. Come check that out. And with that, I am out. So, yeah. Did you know that if you stick your tongue out, you can't breathe through your nose? Yeah, I know. I did the same thing. See, now you're in a room, hopefully by yourself, maybe not, and your tongue is hanging out. Yeah, just like I did. And now that your tongue's out, maybe you're not alone. I mean, your spouse or your significant other is looking at you, looking at your phone. And not only are you looking at a phone with your tongue hanging out, you're not even looking at a human being on the phone. And that's when you say to yourself, wow, huh, isn't life fun? Isn't, isn't that just fun? That, I, I love that about us. We're so damn real love real people and if you can't laugh at yourself well you might just want to loosen the wrappings a little bit because you might be a little too tight love you guys see you soon